Hi guys, it's me, Glamorous Girl 1111, bringing you a quick little first impressions of the Revlon Colorstay Aqua Finishing Powder. Um, you can buy this at Ulta, anywhere that sells Revlon, Rite Aid, CVS. I got mine at Rite Aid. It was $13.99. It's made in the USA, and you get about 0.35 ounces. And it's a finishing powder, so it comes in, tr I think, four colors. Translucent, translucent light, translucent medium and translucent medium light medium I think there's a few of them and it's good that they come in different colors because usually um, translucent or finishing powders come in like a very white and the other one I have to compare it to is the MAC Prep and Prime this one I do not know the price of it's probably around $18 if I had to guess and you get 0.32 ounces so you get about the same amount of product um, a few dollars different but this product is so much better than this Revlon product. Now, it does come with a brush, so you just slide it out of here. And you pop it up. So it just has these little things on this side. And you just pop it up like that. I did use it um, on my leg when I first got the product because I didn't want to put it on my face. It's not the best brush, but it's not the worst brush. Like, if you were caught without a brush, it's still nice that they considered putting a foundation brush in there. It's synthetic, and it's it's really stiff. It's very stiff, but dense. They're, it's pretty thick, because usually foundation brushes are probably half as thick. So it does come with a little brush, and you just lock it back in place and stick it in there. And then if you open the product looks like this. I got mine in the color translucent light, I believe. Translucent light medium. So I wanted it to be skin colored so it would give me a little bit of coverage without being too white. Um, on my skin today, I did put this over it because it, did, it didn't do a good job for me, especially in the concealer, putting on my concealer. I used my Coastal Suns Eclipse Palette Concealer and I put that underneath my eyes and it really caked up and this didn't really do a good job of setting it. So for under eye concealer, I would say it's not good for setting under eye concealer because it does cake up in there. I applied mine with my soft fan brush, IB104 Soft Fan by Crown Brushes. And it's like in my brush a lot, which isn't that good because I'm going to have to clean it. Usually with the MAC one it doesn't stay in my brush. But I think that, um, and basically what an aqua powder is, is it, it feels cold on your skin. I've tried one before I was into makeup. My mom bought the Lancome one that came out, and it felt really cool. I would ask her to put it on my face all the time because, you know, it, it feels like, it's like wet, dry. It's really weird. But So this does have that same aspect. It's really cool. It is a very, very fine powder, which is also very good. Um... When it, it comes out of these little holes really fast, so you have to be careful. I just tap mine into the lid, and as you can see, it's for a light medium, it's pretty light. Um, the good thing, one of the benefits of having it colored is you can apply it more heavily. I do notice with the Prep and Prime, there's a lot of flashback, and it is um, very white on the skin, so you have to have a very light hand with it. Also, if you use a dark one all over your face, it would almost act as a bronzer and a finishing powder all in one. The weird thing about it is it, it makes my brush feel wet. Like if you've ever set your brush on the counter in like a little puddle of water and you feel it, that's how it feels when it's going in your skin. Like you got your brush accidentally wet, but it, it still feels cool. Um, so you do get a lot of products for a really great price. It's made in the USA, which is always a plus for the drugstore. It says mineral finishing powder. It is mineral. It is a finishing powder. It's just not great for concealer. Um, as you can see, this is what my skin looks like. It, it didn't do anything amazing for me, but it, it wasn't bad. Like, I still like this product. I'm going to keep using it. This was just my first impressions. Uh, if you want a full review of this, you can ask down below, and I will maybe consider doing that after I use it for a few weeks, use different brushes. I think maybe if I use a synthetic brush, I might like it more than what I used, which was badger hair. So maybe if I use a synthetic brush, it will apply better. Um, maybe if I use a thinner 
concealer it will apply better. But overall, it was an okay product. Um, not my favorite, not my least favorite. It wasn't a terrible product, but it did not do well underneath the eyes. If you can see the MAC one, this is the MAC Prep and Prime Translucent Finishing Powder. It doesn't claim it's a mineral, so it's a little bit thicker than this, this one. But it does have the same consistency, like when it comes out on my finger like that. That is how it looks in little splotches, as in if you poured some of that out so it's about the same um, but the MAC one I do prefer for setting my powder um, my, my concealer especially and the finish on this is dewy it's not very matte but it's not really dewy it just looks like skin I don't know overall I'm not extremely impressed I do not think it should be part of the color stay line because it color stay is always really thick and sometimes matte and just really good coverage. I'm not sure how well it's going to say. I will say that in the review if I end up making one. Overall, it's an okay product. If you like finishing powders or translucent powders, I would check this one out if you're looking for... It's really cool. Like the aqua thing where it's wet is really cool for a liquid. Good for summer to cool you off. If you have problems with redness, this might be a good problem. Um, or like your skin getting really hot, this might be a good relief to carry in your purse, although it is very bulky for carrying it with. So if you get a little container from the container store or anything, I know they sell like 99 cent little peel bo pill boxes, you could pour a little bit of this in it and take it with you, but as far as this goes, it isn't good for travel as long as this comes with you in the little tiny container, that's good. But it is very large for taking by itself like this. And I'm not very sure about how it twists on. Um, so basically this product is good for you if you like finishing powders. A very light coverage of a finishing powder. Um, the cool wetness thing if you like that it comes with a little brush. Um, that is what I would say is good for you. If you're looking for something to set your concealer, not the product for you. Um, so I'll let you get a close look at the packaging. So, sets makeup for a shine-free finish. And I guess it did do that. Um, I can't really tell because I did put this over it. And I used BB cream. I did not um, put on a full foundation. But in the review, I will let you know what it's like if you guys want one. But overall, my first impression is just, it was okay. But not good for setting concealer. So... I hope you found this first impressions video helpful. These are some of the things I would have wished I would have heard before I bought it. Maybe I wouldn't have purchased it, but it's still a product I enjoy having. I hope you have a beautiful 4th of July, a beautiful weekend, a beautiful week, and just enjoy your life. Thank you for stopping by my channel, and thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye.